time to call your lawyer. It's time for us to give a call to our lawyer and friend, Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Ask him the question of the week. Now, if you would like to submit a question, because you've got your own legal thing going on, I'll tell you how to go about that here in just a quick second, too. I need to let you know ahead of it, though, that today's conversation is just that, legal conversation, not to be taken as specific advice for your specific circumstances. That requires a face-to-face meeting with a professional, and the only way I know how to do that is to pick up the phone and call. I'll tell you how to do that in a moment as well. A lot of attorneys offer a free initial consultation. Bruce L. Shiner and Associates certainly do, so you might want to take advantage of that. Get that face-to-face I was just referring to. Some good general legal advice we can give you in the meantime is don't sign anything. Don't let anyone record any conversations. And don't make any statements until you've seen a professional. With that in mind, let's tackle today's legal brain teaser at Kicks Country 92.9 and make welcome... Attorney for the injured, Bruce L. Shiner. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Todd. Hey, how are you doing in this new year? Hey, it's a wonderful new year. Uh, I, the thing I like about this early part of the new year, the whole year is filled with optimism. It's a blank canvas. We can make it what we want to make out of it. And I got a lot of got a lot of hope and optimism for the remainder of 18. Well, I applaud that, Todd. The only thing that I'm concerned about is we're going to blink in it. The year's going to be over. It happens so quickly. <laughs> that happens with all of them, though, doesn't it? Oh, boy. It certainly does. And it seems the older you get, the faster it goes, doesn't it? I hate to agree. <laughs> okay. A reluctant agreement from our attorney friend, Bruce Elshider. <laughs> Let's see if he agrees with what our thinking has been this morning as we've been going over the latest question for you. Let's have you uh, listen to this and see what you think, okay? I'm ready. All right. It says, my husband was rear-ended while sitting at a red light, forcing his car into an SUV in front of him. He lost. He had months of rehab and months of physical therapy over a two-and-a-half-year period, and his back has reached a plateau which leaves him in constant pain. He has damage to his discs, including protrusions and an annular tear. These are medical terms I'm not familiar with, but I'm sure you've heard them before. His job is greatly affected as part of his work was to lift and move pianos. Oh, my. He is the owner of the business and now has to pay others to do this aspect of his work. We have $150,000 uninsured coverage. We'd like to talk with an experienced attorney having dealt with underinsured policies. You know, we talk about underinsured and uninsured motorists so frequently. I knew you would have something to say about this they have the right idea i don't know why they waited so long but they should get to an experienced attorney one that's handled a lot of uninsured motorist cases as soon as possible it sounds like he has a pretty substantial claim between the protrusions with his disc and his inability to uh, perform his work when he has to pay other people in his business i mean this this person has a lot of losses we, we were talking about those losses in the studio here a little bit earlier and just speculating being the amateurs that we are. We were thinking the, the, the loss in his ability to earn a living is obvious here. Um, but we were suspecting he's probably got losses in other areas of his life. He, he can't enjoy life the way he used to. If he was a very physical person, for example, he certainly can't do that kind of thing anymore. He has to be very careful about what he does. Is there a recourse for some kind of um, way of, of being compensated for that loss, too? Absolutely. He's entitled to restitution for all his losses. Because he's collecting uninsured motorists, they stand in the shoes of the person who caused the accident. Right. So, for instance, let's say he was a big bodybuilder and he hurt his back and he can't exercise anymore, or he enjoyed motorcycle riding and he can't ride his motorcycle or he enjoyed fishing and he can't right. That's what we were go guessing. out and bounce on the boat. Right. These are all things that he's entitled to compensation for. That's exactly what we were talking about with this being such a, a boating fishing area. If he enjoyed that kind of thing, he likely can't do it anymore. So it's good to hear that he would have some recourse, but it's going to take an experienced legal professional to get down that road. Yes, and he should contact one as soon as he can. The other thing that concerned us, it's 
been a two and a half year period or somewhere in that vicinity. Statute of limitations, there's got to be a certain time period on this, right? Right. There is a statute of limitations. In Florida, it's, it's five years, but there's a hidden danger back there, and that's if you have an uninsured motorist policy from a different state. Mm-hmm. Sometimes your statute of limitations is, is controlled by the state where the policy was issued. For example, Tennessee has a one-year statute of limitation. If he had a Tennessee policy, he'd be out of luck. Wow. So that that's another reason to see a lawyer as soon as possible to check on what his statute of limitations is. Depending on the jurisdiction, the clock may be ticking faster than we knew. So, yeah. Absolutely. Let's get to a professional right now. All right, Bruce. Well, it sounds like he's in a great deal. It says constant pain. I hope that you've uh, helped ease some of the emotional pain uh, by pointing in the right direction anyway. And then hopefully the physical pain can get better as he is compensated for his losses. Once again, we do appreciate you bringing a little clarity to these uh, legal quagmires. And we certainly do learn something different every single week. Thank you. Well, you're so welcome. And as I stated many times in the past, it's a challenge to me and I love to answer these questions, so I'll look forward to speaking with you next week. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Bruce Elshiner, attorney for the injured, for him giving of his time to help us understand the law a little bit better. Now, if you have a legal question you'd like to hear answered on a future segment of Ask the Lawyer, you're certainly welcome to submit that question through our website. Just go to kickscountry929.com and look for BLS, Bruce L. Shiner. If you have an immediate problem that needs immediate answers, and hey, that's understandable, then why don't you pick up the phone and call the Port Charlotte office of Bruce L. Shiner and Associates. The number is 941-743-7777. That's 743-7777. One more time. 743, and then just keep hitting sevens. And tell them Todd Matthews sent you. From Kicks Country 92.9.